when it comes to the infinite expanse of space. I personally choose not to question a lot of it. As space is terrifying, and there is so much in space that could destroy our entire planet. We could do absolutely nothing about it. So today let's get into the most amazing 10 space mysteries that will blow your mind. 10. What came before the Big Bang? The Big Bang was what started the universe billions of Earth years ago. But like, what came before that? We honestly don't really know. And our smartest minds theorize the answer is extremely simple. Stephen Hawking noted that the answer could literally be nothing. We have no observable evidence of what came before everything. In comic books, in Marvel, they say that we are in a version of the cosmos. Meaning there was a previous version that ended up getting destroyed and remade. But if that's the case, what's doing the destroying and the remaking? If nothing came before, then what the heck caused the Big Bang in the first place? If there was something before, what would that do to the way we think about the universe? And if something is responsible for it all? I don't know if our tiny little human brains could actually handle that. 9. Gravity Paradox This question is a pretty simple one. But yet it's got a lot of scientists kind of completely stumped. Why can a refrigerator magnet defy an entire planet's gravitational pull? It's basically asking why gravity can be such a strong force in the universe but also be such a weak one in other instances. Some scientists believe that gravity may well be as strong as other forces like electromagnetism, and the force that holds the nucleus together, but they think that gravity's influence is dissipated because it leaks into extra dimensions. That's just the theory, though, because we actually have no idea. That one little question about refrigerator magnets has kind of brought the whole idea of gravity into question. If it is being dissipated into extra dimensions, that opens up way more questions than it actually answers. Obviously, I'm not smart enough to answer this question. I am, after all, just a YouTube host, not a scientist. But I would just think it's all subjective, right? Like a planet is so huge that the things that are on the planet would have to follow different gravitational rules, right? And like a magnet is still being affected by the Earth's gravity. 8. How big is the universe? The universe is constantly expanding and infinitely getting bigger. If the universe is constantly expanding and we know it's constantly expanding, then when posed with the question of how big the universe is, someone would be able to give you an answer. But we don't actually have a number for that because we literally don't know the shape of the universe. And we don't know the actual rate at which the universe is expanding, we just know that it is. To me, this question almost doesn't matter for most of us because even if we were to try to go to the edge of the universe, no one here can live long enough to make that journey. It takes roughly 9 to 12 years to get to Pluto, and that's just the furthest planet in our solar system, which itself is just an extremely tiny speck in our Milky Way galaxy, which is also just a tiny speck in the vastness of the universe. 7. Expansion The last point does lead me nicely into this next point. Though, which is the fact that while we know the universe is constantly expanding, we can't actually put a pin on the rate at which it is actually expanding. For the past six years, the Hubble Space Telescope has been calculating the speed at which the universe is expanding, and recently came up with what is accepted as the most precise measurement to date. Except that the rate stands in direct conflict with independent measurements of the early universe's expansion. That's unsettling for astrophysicists because it means we know even less about our universe and its ways than we thought we did. But if we do learn this, would that be a good thing? Or would it just help us all feel more and more meaningless and tiny? Of course, these are scientific questions, and emotions about these things aren't really important. But I'm just saying I already feel small and insignificant. 6. The Multiverse If you have been keeping up with the MCU, then you are at least familiar with the idea of a multiverse. Essentially, it means that if you go far enough into the universe, Things would have to start repeating because there's only a finite number of ways that particles can be arranged in space and time. According to theories, the universe is flat and infinite, so those particles would have to repeat. Creating another universe with another Earth, and yes, another you. And because it's all infinite, there would be infinite versions of you who could be doing the exact same things as you right now. Or maybe they wore different clothes today or had completely different jobs. Honestly, there are an infinite number of variables here. The thing is we will most likely never know if this theory is true or not. 5. What is dark matter? No lights, or at least too little light for us to detect. We know it exists because we see the effect of its gravity on the stars and the galaxies like the Milky Way. 
which could not have dragged in enough matter to make its own stars in the 13.82 billion years. Since the Big Bang without there being a lot of invisible matter whose extra gravity helped speed things along. I hope that wasn't too confusing. The European Space Agency's Planck satellite found that dark matter accounts for 26.8% of the mass energy of the universe compared with the 4.5% of normal atomic matter. This basically means that dark matter outweighs the visible stars and galaxies that we can actually see by a factor of about 6. And yet, no Earth-based experiment has found any evidence of dark matter at all. And we have been looking for a long time. It's totally possible that our theory of matter or, more likely, our theory of gravity needs to be reworked and fiddled with. It's also possible that maybe the universe is filled with dark stars and dark planets and dark life. 4. What is time, and does it even exist? When we talk about time, we imagine it flowing like a river, like a time stream. But for something to flow, by definition, it has to flow with respect to something else, like how a river flows with respect to a riverbank. The flow of time is an illusion that we created on our own with our brains to organize the information constantly flooding in through our senses. We also have a strong sense of a shared past, present, and future. However, the idea of a common present, meaning the time right now that everyone's in, doesn't actually exist in our understanding of relativity. Precisely how someone else's time is sliced up depends on how fast they are moving relative to you or the strength of the gravity they are experiencing. These effects are only really noticeable with things like the speed of light and supermassive gravity. Which is why they are not super obvious to us in everyday life. But it basically means the idea that one person's interval of time is not the same as another person's. And that one person's interval of time is not the same as in others. If you watch Interstellar, there's a pretty basic explanation of this as different members of the crew age differently as they split up to different places around a massive black hole and other planets whose gravities affect all the characters differently time-wise. 3. Do we have everything wrong? Isaac Newton's theory of gravity was accurate enough to fly spacecraft to the moon, but it began breaking down when extremely high speeds and very strong gravitational fields became known to us. Then, Einstein's theory of general relativity came in and was a better alternative. It correctly describes the bending of starlight by gravity, the orbital decay of binary pulsars, and the warping of space-time around a black hole. Really cool stuff like that. General relativity is currently physicists' best theory of gravity. But it doesn't answer everything, obviously, which is why history will probably repeat itself. And physicists might discover small effects that would hint at an even better theory of gravity. Einstein's theory has passed most of the things that might test it with flying colors. But physicists will keep putting their theories on the rack. 2. Earth Martians. Okay, so look, we take it for granted that life on Earth actually began here. We just kind of assumed that that's the way things worked. But that's not actually necessarily accurate. Apparently, scientists are actually finding evidence that life on Earth may have instead come from Mars and was brought to this planet by, like, a meteorite at some point in Earth's incredibly long history. The trouble is that scientists themselves can't even agree on which area of science will provide the answer to this conundrum and let alone whether science is even where we should look to answer it. Which, like Pete said about the universe's expansion, that makes no freaking sense. What do you mean we can't? What? 1. Aliens. Since the early 1960s, scientists have theorized that it's extremely likely that intelligent life exists outside of Earth, and I, for one, totally agree. The math kind of has to mean it's true. The universe is ever-expanding, infinite, and contains countless other galaxies just like ours. With planets that would be in a similar position as ours is to their sun and with the right conditions for life to actually thrive and grow. Like the planet Kepler-186f, which you should look up if you haven't before. It's kind of cool. The trouble is that we have basically zero scientific evidence to prove that life could potentially exist or does, in fact, exist. In fact, we have no hard scientific evidence that any life exists outside of Earth. In the vastness of space, we are like tiny specks trying to understand the mysteries that surround us. We may never have all the answers, but our curiosity and desire to learn push us forward. Space is both wondrous and uncertain, and it reminds us of how small we are in the grand scheme of things. Even though we may not solve all the mysteries, we should keep exploring and dreaming. Perhaps one day, future generations will make groundbreaking discoveries. 
Let's meet in a new video. Stay tuned subscribe for more interesting contents.